it up. If thou wouldest get a friend, uh -huh. prove him first. Uh -huh. And be not hasty to credit him. God says, don't be hasty to credit him. How long y'all been proving? I'm gonna say, I ain't gonna say dating. You know, how long y'all been proving? These are the terms we gotta get back to using. How long y'all been proving? Six months? Three months? Ten. Eleven months? Ten, eleven, yeah. Ten, eleven months? No sex? That's that's hard in the black community. That that is unheard of in the black community. Actually, that normally it's like, uh, how you doing? What's your name? Want to have sex? <laughs> just it's just like that. And most women and brothers, they hey, that's that's the mindset. Y'all are different. Y'all are different, and you must know and understand what separates you from everybody else that's, that's out here doing the opposite of that. Twenty-one. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. Not a, not a big age difference. That's that's fine. I hear all the marriage stuff going on. My name is Kalaya. Your name is D and Carly. Carly. Nice to meet you. All right. There's a few things that I want to set in place because y'all young. Y'all real young. I wish I was twenty again, but that's like twenty-four years ago. But the scriptures. You notice that we're bringing you the Word of God. That's something that's missing in our community, especially amongst our younger generation. Right. All right. It's good to see that y'all are our people and that y'all are striving to deal with each other. But I, I, I'm going to ask you some hard questions. Hopefully you can answer. Are you a virgin? Yes, sir. Are you a virgin? You see that? That's perfect in the sight of God. Y'all can't mess that up. You cannot mess that up. Now, I hear you say you're trying to get your finances together. You're trying to make sure that you can take care of the sister, right? This is how we're supposed to deal in the scriptures. First, give me Sirach chapter 6 and verse 7. Read that. Sirach chapter 6, verse 7. If thou wouldest get a friend. So the Bible gives us instruction on how we are to deal with each other. Right now, y'all are friends, right? God says, yeah, 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 you're friends. You're not married yet. She's your friend. But she should, yeah, it shouldn't be like, in this day and age, we call it girlfriend. No, it should, it shouldn't be no girlfriend. It should be, that's your friend. Y'all are proving each other. Right. You're proving him to see if he is fit to be your husband because you're a virgin. You're proving her to see if she's fit to be your wife right. because you're a virgin. You know this, like you, you watch. Uh, I like ancient movies, like old. I like older movies that that, that deal with ancient days. You ever watch uh, Last Kingdom with Uhtred of Bevenberg, or like you see these old uh, older movies where. The, you have the king, the prince, the queen, and the princess. You notice that they only want their sons to marry or what? Someone of status, yeah. But she's a princess. A, a something else. She's a virgin. The prince is a virgin. They want the, the prince to marry a virgin. The princess is a virgin. She wants they want their princess to marry a virgin. We lost that in our community. We lost that in our community. It's a beautiful thing. To see that y'all are virgins and that you're proving each other. Right. That's scriptural. That's perfect in the sight of God. Read us again. If thou wouldest get a friend. So God says, if you was to get a friend, come on. Prove him first. Prove him second. Prove him first. Have sex first. Prove him first. God says you got to prove each other first. Right. So in this proving process, you know what you should be doing? Getting your finances together. Making sure that you have a house. Give me that uh, 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 house to cover shame. Uh, you should be getting yourself a house. Making sure that you got a job. You got a job? Make sure you got a job fit enough to take care of. Your job is, can your job take care of you? Or just, can your job take care of both of you or just you? Right now, well... I, 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 and you can be real because it's the proven process. I finance properly. So yeah, I think, yeah, I think I can take care of both of us, but... You want to be able to do a little more. Yeah, I want to make sure it's steady because if the paycheck come in less one week, then I don't want to be like having to struggle. So. Right, you don't want a little paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. We're in this captivity. We all familiar with that thing. Right. We, we live paycheck to paycheck, but you know why? And this goes all the way back into uh, the scriptures, the tribe we from. Like It goes all the way back into slavery and before when we broke God's commandments. As a people, we broke God's commandments. Right. This is why the condition of our people is what it is today. But we are striving to mend the wound that has been torn in our people 
based on how we have reacted and treated our God and kept it without keeping the commandments. You too have a beautiful thing, but you can destroy it if you don't understand the process that you must take. God says if you was to get a friend, prove him first. Prove her first. Don't rush into a marriage. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got, so you got a level head on your shoulder, but you got to maintain that. But now, what I got you holding? Read that again. Sirach chapter 6, verse 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, uh -huh. prove him first. Uh -huh. And be not hasty to credit him. God says, don't be hasty to credit him. How long y'all been proving? I'm gonna say, I ain't going to say dating. You know, how long y'all been proving? These are the terms we got to get back to using. How long y'all been proving? Six months? Three months? Yeah. 10, 11 months? 10, 11, yeah. 10, 11 months? No sex? That's that's hard in the black community. That, that is unheard of in the black community, actually. That normally it's like, uh, how you doing? What's your name? Wanna have sex? <laughs> just, just like that. And most women and brothers, they, hey, that's, that's the mindset. Y'all are different. Y'all are different, and you must know and understand what separates you from everybody else that, that's out here doing the opposite of that. What? God said, right. if you get a friend, prove him first, and don't be hasty to credit that friend. Meaning, don't be hasty to say, oh yeah, he's a, she's a good woman, because you've proved her for six months, a year. Because you're only going to know the real person when. Once you're married. Once you're married, and then you move in together, now you're around each other every day. You're like, ah, damn, you're aggravating as hell. You want to be. You want to. You want to get through that process now, so that you learn to love each other in all things. So read on. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. Some people are friends for their own occasion. You know how you got that. You've seen in the world, and you probably got friends like that now. They only friends with you because they want something, or they only deal with you because they need something from you. You want to make sure that that's not your relationship to her, and that that's not your relationship to him. You got to prove each other. Drop that. Give me Sirach chapter 25. Drop chapter 25 and verse 1. Read that. Sirach chapter 25 verse 1. Put it out. In three things I was beautified. God says in three things he was beautified. Come on. It stood up beautiful both before God and men. What was that? The unity of brethren. God loves the unity of the brotherhood. You see this? God loves the unity of the brotherhood. He loves the unity of us coming to the street to teach my brother right here, D, that look, bro, you're the greatest man that ever walked the earth. That's right. You must understand that you're a God on this earth. And she right. must learn that you are God on the earth. Right. God loves when we come and we wake our people up out of the dung hills that we have been stifling in in America for over 400 years. Right. For over 400 years, we've been taught here in America that we are nothing. The black man and the black woman has been beat down with a, a stick of iron to, to dust. Right. Now we don't, we're lost. We don't know who we are. You ask us, what's our nationality? We say black. That is not our nationality. You're an Israelite, probably from the tribe of Judah, all right? The same tribe that Christ come from. You must understand that because in understanding that, you're going to come back to the heritage that God gave you. You're going to come back to the example that has been set for you by your people. Right. right? You're going to start to follow the customs of the Bible. Alright? Read it again. In three things I was beautified. Come on. It stood up beautiful, both before God and men. Read. The unity of brethren. God loves the unity of brethren. Read. The love of neighbors. He loves when we have that love between us. When I can correct my brothers and say, hey D, you're going off. Don't do that. D, this is the example. D, follow, follow Christ. This is what was led for us. We don't have that in our community no more. Where do you find the people of these churches in the streets trying to guide and teach us? Did you ever see them? No. Do you see them on Sunday when they say, yeah, come in here, sit down in the, in the seat. I'm going to read a couple of scriptures. I'm going to dance. I'm going to say, ha, 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 ha. And then I'm going to pass the collection plate. Right. And then you're going to go back home and you're going to do the same thing all your life. Right. That's not how we're supposed to learn how to deal in this world. Right. We have to correct each other. You my neighbor. I'm supposed to tell you, D, call her. This ain't, that ain't right. Do it like this, call her. Call her. That's your, that's your future husband. You should be learning the things to, that should please your husband. The things that you need to do to please him. Learn what he likes, what he don't like. You know what right. I mean? Same thing with you. Learn what she like, what she don't like. Be a provider. God loves that thing. Read on. A man and a wife. A man what? A man and a wife uh -huh. that agree 
together. So God loves a man and a wife that agree together. Not that love, you, uh, you got a, she got a uh, leaf, leaf in her head. Yeah. Nothing came down and you know, tried to cover you real quick. But God loves a man and a wife that agree together. Y'all got to be on one accord. Three. So what? Chapter 29, verse 21. The chief thing for life is water and bread and clothing and a house to cover shame. That's the main thing you got to focus on. Because I like the idea and the thought you got. I want to make sure that I can... You know what I'm saying? I want to be a man. I don't want to be, you know, a, a, a boy out here can barely take care of a woman. You want to make sure that, look, I got money in the bank. I got a house over our head. We got food to eat. And I'm able to put clothes on our back. That's scriptural. Not out here, or uh, you dealing with Carla, then you in the phone. Duh, 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 duh. Now you got to go meet Angie. Now after you deal with Angie, nah. We can't live like that. Some of us were foolish enough and we, we lived like that. But that's not the path for you, brother. Right. You, got a, you got a beautiful future with a beautiful wife if y'all stay on the path of the Bible. Right. Now, I don't know if y'all know if y'all was following something scriptural, but you are following something scriptural right now by not dealing with each other sexually. Right. Give me that in uh, 1 Corinthians 7. 7. Read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 33. When it all but he that is married, caring for the things that are of the world. Why does the Bible say when you get married, you got to have a care of the things of the world? Why do you think? Once you get married, you got to have a care for the stuff in the world now. Because you're living for you and people around you. You're living for you and your wife because you're married remember we're dealing with the context of marriage so now because you're married you got to have a care for the things of the world because she wants flowers you know what i'm saying she might say but this this uh thing we're living in is too small we need to get a bigger house i want a car i want diamond rings now don't do that to the brother you stress him out you know what i'm saying if his, if his job can't provide that you stress him out he go crazy around here trying to provide for you but the man that is married, you have to have a care of the things of the world. How what? The Bible's going to explain it. How he may please his wife. So because you got to please your wife, so you got to have a care for the things in the world. Read. There is difference also between a wife and a virgin. Uh -huh. The unmarried woman cares for the things of the Lord. So if you were not married, your care should be focused on how to serve God, how to right. please Christ. All right. But once you become married, guess who takes the place? Guess who's your hedge of protection? You become the hedge of protection for this woman. You have to protect her. That's our sister. You are, and that's the thing about the community that we built. We put our lives on the line for our sisters, for our wives. That's the way it's gotta be. That's the way it should be. But here in society today, we are not taught that. We are not taught how to love our wives. We're not taught how to raise up our children right. according to the Bible. Right. We've lost the connection and we have to mend it back. We have to bring that back. Read on. That she may be holy, uh -huh. both in body uh -huh. and in spirit. Both in body and in spirit, she must be holy. Read. But she that is married, caring for the things of the world, uh -huh. how she may please her husband. You see how it switched the roles? Now, when you're married, you got to have a care for the things of the world too. Right. How you may please your husband right. when y'all get married. Don't rush into it. You're young. Right. Make sure you get that job. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you can provide. Read on. And this I speak for your own profit, uh -huh. not that I may cast a snare upon you, uh -huh. but for that which is coming, and that you may attend upon the Lord without distraction. So if you was not married, then your focus would have to be attending on the Lord. Attending to this business that we got to take care of. All right, that's what you see going out here today. This is the Lord's business. Right. It's our business to come out here and tell our people, look, today is the Sabbath day. Right. All right. W what do you know about the Sabbath day? Not much. Not much. What about you? Um, God made it holy. God made it holy. Question: When is the Sabbath day? I kind of just told you the answer. When is the Sabbath day? Saturday. Saturday. It's today. Y'all agree? Would you say Sunday is the Sabbath day or Saturday? Saturday is the Sabbath day. That's Everybody right. got a phone, right? Pull up, you got a phone in your hand. Pull up, look, hit, hit the calendar on your on, on your phone real quick. Let me show y'all something. Let me just show y'all a magic trick. Hit, hit the calendar on your phone. Let me show you how, how they have this, how they have made confused us and not taught us but how to stay at the bottom. This is all spiritual because we're the Israelites. Now, what's the first day on the calendar? 
The first day. What's the first day? The, the first day is what? Monday? Uh-uh. Look at it again. Oh, Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. Right. 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 But we have been told Sunday is the seventh day of the week. No, 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 no. That's the Gregorian calendar. Right. The Gregorian calendar is, the, uh, is, is from the Roman era where days were kind of switched up. But Saturday is the Sabbath day. Sunday is the very first day of the week. Right. The reason we think Sunday is the Sabbath day is due to this. Bring it out. This is why we think Sunday is the first day of the week. Right. Because this is the only day they gave us off during slavery. Right. In slavery, that's the only day we would have off. They would have a black uh, preacher come and say, serve your master. All right. Whatever the master say do, you must do. They would read, a, read, they would read that one script. And then we would be stuck. With think, now we're stuck with thinking that this is the Sabbath day. But the Sabbath day is the seventh day of the week. Right. So when you count from month from Sunday, you got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at sundown begins the Sabbath day of the Lord. Right. All right. Saturday is the Sabbath day. That's the seventh day of the week. Right. Give me that in Exodus real quick. Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. This is, how the, this is what we were supposed to learn coming up. But because our grandparents didn't know, they weren't able to teach our mothers. They weren't able to teach our fathers. Because our great-grandparents didn't know, they weren't able to teach and pass this down. Right. So what got passed down to us was Sunday. Right. Sunday school. But that's not in the Bible. We have been miseducated here in America. Right. We've lost the knowledge of ourselves. Because if I said, D, what's your nationality? What would you say? Judah. Judah. Because yeah. well, you see the sign over there? Well, he's, uh... The brother brother told you. Yeah. All right, if I said, what's your name, brother? What's his name? Mel. Mel and Jeremy. If I said, what's your name, Mel? What, what, no, what's your name? What's your nationality, Mel? What would you say? Black. What color are your pants? Black. What's your nationality? It can't be the same. Look at your pants. Your pants black. But we have been taught that we are black. We ain't black. Yes. Black is just a color in a crayon box. Right. Now, most people will say, well, I'm um, African American. Well, now you got to examine the thought. What is an African? Where does that name come from? African American. That's two yeah. names, right? African and American. The first thing you must ask yourself, especially you young folks, older folks too. I had to ask myself this. Why are we the only ones on the whole planet that are called after two different continents? Bring it up. Think about it. Do Chinese people call themselves Asia? Because that's the landmass that they own, right? right. They own the landmass of Asia. Do they say I'm, a, uh, um, I'm Asian? They don't say that. Why are we the only ones that call ourselves after two landmasses? Because our nationality was changed. Right. Jesse Jackson coined Afro-American, African-American on us in the early 1980s. That's right. when we started calling ourselves African-American. But that ain't what God calls you. God calls you an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. That's what God calls you. That's right. your true nationality. We can prove that in the Bible according to the history in the Bible and where we would be in the last days. Right. The reason you're hearing this Bible come out like this is because we're in the last days. That's you right. see the war that's going on in Israel right now? Do y'all see that, Mel? Y'all see the war going on in Israel with Hamas right now? You think that's just by, hap by happenstance? Or is it prophesied in the Bible that they will be going to war? It's in the scriptures That's that that war will be taking place. That's why Christ right. said what? He said there will be wars and rumors of wars. Right. You must watch and pray. Well, what you going to pray for? How do you know? How do you know when that time is near? Because you're going to be able to see what's going on on the earth. That's why we're out here to teach our people, look, it's time to wake up. You are not African-American. You are not black. You are an Israelite That's from the right. tribe of Judah. Right. That's who you are. Christ ain't coming back to say African-Americans. He ain't coming back to save blacks. He ain't coming back to save Jigaboos. He ain't coming back to save Mexicans. He ain't coming back to save, that ain't in the Bible. Right. He's coming back to save a nation of people whom he called in the scriptures. I'm gonna show you that. That sounds crazy, right? I'm gonna show you this. Give me Revelation chapter 21. Let me show you something. Bring it up. Give me Revelation chapter 21 and verse 22 real quick. Bring it up. Yeah, I can't remember, 21 and 12. Revelation chapter 21, verse 12. It had a wall, great and high. You might wanna hear this, D. Kingdom of heaven has a wall great and high. I'm going to show you who's in the kingdom. The kingdom of heaven has a wall great and high. Come on. It had 12 gates. Now, all your life we've been told that the kingdom of heaven got what? One pearly gate? 
One pearly gate. We're all going to make it into that kingdom of heaven. We're going through that one pearly gate. The Bible says the kingdom of heaven got how many gates? It had 12 gates. Now, why does the kingdom of heaven has 12 gates? Teach. Why? Why does it have 12 gates? Why are there 12 gates to the kingdom of heaven? Because you ain't going to get this in Sunday school. You're not going to get this when you go up in the church and you take your $30 and there they put in that tray. This, right. They ain't giving you this. Right. They are giving you a feel good prosperity speech and not telling you what thus saith the Lord. Yes. We're in the last days, brothers and sisters. Right. This is it. This is it. That war going on over there is for your sake. Right. The war that's going on in Israel is to save you. Right. It's to save us. Because we are captives here in America today. Yes. We are still slaves here in America. That's why you got what's called bills. But God said that when you broke these commandments, you're going into slavery and you're going to pay bills. But the question at hand is, read that again. And had a wall, great and high. The kingdom of heaven has a wall, great and high. Come on. And had 12 gates. It got 12 gates. Unlike pastor says, it's got one pearly gate. Now let's find out. Let's find out some information about these gates. Come on. And at the gates, 12 angels. So at the gates, you got 12 angels at these 12. Why you think there's angels at these gates? You ever been to a club? Mel, I know we've been, we've been to a club before. <laughs> you did out there, I hope you're mad night. <laughs> What's at the door when you get to the club? Security. That's why these angels are at this gate. These angels are at the gates of heaven to restrict entrance and exit. You ain't just finna walk up in there. That ain't finna happen. So at the at these gates, you got 12 uh, angels. Come on. In names written thereon. Now there's names written on these gates. Let's see if African American or black is on these gates. Come on. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel? So on the gates of heaven, is the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Yes. Where was this information when I was 10 years old? Where was this information when I was 21 years old, 22 years old? Where was it then? It was not the time for the understanding to be pushed yet. You got to understand that this Bible comes out in measures. It comes out at a specific time for the understanding. The understanding is coming out now because we are in the last days. God is calling his chosen people to wake up. On the, on, the tw on the gates of heaven, the names written thereon are Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Nathali, Gad. These are the names. Why? Because you are the children of Israel, Mel, Carly. Y'all are the children of Israel. Now you got to repent. What does it mean to repent, my sister? What does it mean to repent? To turn, to, to turn away from to sin. To turn away from sin. 100% correct. Give me, uh, yeah, read that real quick. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee. Did we sin against God? What's your name, sis? Doris. Did we sin against that God, Doris? Did we sin against God? Yes, we did. I'm going to show you where we sinned at. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Listen to this, Doris. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So God is talking to who right now? Let's see. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. This is how the Bible is supposed to be taught. They don't, we, guess what? We ain't the Sunday school pastors. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord, the Lord is giving us the understanding of the Bible. Right. That's why it's imperative that we come teach our people. Right. Now let's find out who Moses was being, who was talking to. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses speak unto all Israel. Uh huh. On this side, Jordan. Now go back to Deuteronomy 28. So we see that the audience that's being spoken to is the same ones whose name is on the kingdom, on the gates of the kingdom of heaven. Right. Now we're gonna find out what happened. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. When it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all His commandments and His statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So you hear that, Doris, right? He said, if y'all don't listen to God, all these curses are going to come upon you and overtake you. Right. Now, let's see what these curses are. Verse 32. Verse 32. Hold the sign up for me. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Remember, who's the audience that he's talking to? The children of Israel, right? What did he say? Read that again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given 
unto another people. Now, who else did that happen to? Name another people. Nobody, right? You don't know no other people that that happened to. We are identifying who we are according to the Bible. We are, we're identifying why we're in the condition that we're in right now. And guess what? This book has been on our shelf all our life and we just did not know. Right. Because we didn't have nobody who understood it that could teach it to us. Right. It says our sons and daughters will be given to another people. That's this right here. Our sons and daughters being sold off in slavery. And I'm going to show you the rest of it. Give me... Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Imagine this being you and your children being taken away from you. You see how she holding on to her baby? Imagine that being you and your child being ripped away from you and you, there's nothing you can do about it. it God, God said what? Read that part again. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. God says you're going to see your children being taken away from you and you're gonna, your eyes are going to fail all the day long. Come on. And there should be no might in thine hand. And there ain't going to be no power in your hand to get your children back. That's what happened to us. We were ripped from our mothers and fathers and sold to a nation that does not give a damn about us. Right. And now we're still here today in America. Right. Things are not okay, my sister. Things are not right. We have to make things right by understanding what has happened to us and then follow the instruction that was given to us. Read on. Give me verse 40. Five. Verse 45, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. So, the Bible is talking to the children of Israel. It wasn't talking to nobody else. He said that if we don't listen, all these curses are going to come upon us, overtake us, and pursue us. Read. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we didn't hearken to God. That's how we got into America today. Right. I'm going to show you something. Read on. To keep his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which he commanded thee. Come on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Now God says that they shall be upon thee for a sign. What is the day? The curses. The curses are going to be upon you for a sign. Meaning you're going to be able to look in the world and know that those are the people of God based on the curses that he said will happen to that people. Now, what other people did that can you identi can identify with these curses? Nobody. So the curse only fits us. That means that we're the children of God. Right. Read on. And for a wonder. And for a wonder because our people wonder what their nationality is. If you ask a brother or sister, what's your nationality? They're going to say black or they're going to say African American. No, you're not. You're the Israelite of the children of Israel. Right. They were taken right. away from us. Right. They've taken our, our heritage, claimed themselves as the, as the Israelites. They don't even say we're the Israelites. They say we're Israeli. Right. They don't say that I'm a Jew. They say I'm Jewish. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Meaning I'm kind of like a Jew, but I'm not really a Jew. You see what I'm saying? They have taken our nationality. Now they wonder why they catch a hell over there in our land. Because that land belongs to us. You understand that? Right. We had to flee from the land because of Roman persecution in 70 AD. When Titus and Vespasian ransacked our homeland, killed millions of blacks in the land of Israel, and we fled into the inner parts of Africa. Right. That's why we were abducted from the coast of Africa and then brought here to America. This history ain't taught in school. It ain't taught in church. We have lost the knowledge of ourselves and we are bringing back the knowledge to our people today. Right. Because we're in the time period where war is going to break out amongst all these nations. But those that understand who they are and how to keep God's commandments, we're going to be saved. Right. We're going to be saved. That rapture that they be talking about in the Christian church, that ain't for everybody. That rapture is for God's people who were put in slavery, right. who were stripped of their God, stripped of their land. That ain't for everybody that picked the Bible up and started reading and say, I believe in Jesus. No, 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 no. Right. That's why when you get the Revelations, the last book of the Bible, the only names on the kingdom of heaven is who? Bring it up. The children of Israel. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.
question is you. And finally, my brother, be strong.